Hey there, my name is Demetrius. I am the host of the Overcomers of Relapse podcast, and they call me D. We have a question from a listener. I am a certified life coach, and I will be accepting and answering all questions on any topic from my background education, my personal experiences, and expertise. From a pure source, a purpose that is within myself to be a service to others with a passionate and humble heart that truly desires to help others. To offer encouragement and optional solutions that could possibly be the answer to any questions or concerns. So, you have a question? Because, ask D. He is on the air. Here's the question from the listener. I am at a total loss. My sponsor relapsed back to drugs and alcohol. This person has been my sponsor for several years. I did not just consider them as my sponsor, but as a great mentor and a friend as well. I'm not sure how to start over with a new sponsor. Any advice would be appreciated. Thanks. Hey, listener, this is really a great question. And it happens more often than we would like to admit and more than we realize. It is especially, especially difficult when a bond has been created over the years with a sponsor that we consider a great asset and a strong influence in supporting with our recovery. And in an instant moment, it is completely diminished. Listener, however, we must always, always be reminded that this is a cunning and baffling disease we are dealing with. And relapse is always, always possible. Now, (laughs) I know we hear all the time how people talk about how many years of sobriety they have. And that should truly be commended. And it can appear sometimes unintentionally that they are completely healed from this disease. And for them, relapse is impossible. My listener, this could not be further from the truth. See, listener, we must remain diligent at making our recovery our number one priority with a ruthless determination each day, making it another day of being sober. And that's regardless of family, friends, and yes, even sponsors that we have shared and entrusted our most intimate, private thoughts, emotions, traumatic, and devastating experiences with them. Yes, I understand a sponsor does definitely play a significant supportive role on our road, on our road of successful recovery, addict's journey. To maintain sobriety, however, Keep this in mind, listener. This relationship must be handled just like all other relationships in the recovering addict's life. It must be compartmentalized. The definition of the word compartmentalized is to define into sections or categories. Listener, this is very important. We as recovering addicts must, it is a must, develop the skills of compartmentalizing our relationships with unchanging boundaries. Now, do I mean we have to walk around with no kind of emotions and um, just function as though we are machines instead of human beings? <laughs> Absolutely not. However, compartmentalizing and setting boundaries will help 
for protecting your sobriety and recovery at all costs with whom or whatever comes in your path that is a threat to your success of being a successful recovery addict. Listener, I personally, and I mean this from the heart, I personally wish you great success in your recovery. Just remember, when it really comes down to it, you, I, are alone. And that we are truly responsible for our recovery. And with that being said, friend, find another great sponsor. Continue what you are doing to maintain your sobriety. (laughs) Hey, you never know. You may be just the one who can reach out to your old sponsor and sponsor him back into a positive recovery experience. Keep the faith, my friend. So there you have it. To all my listeners, please feel free to leave comments or maybe you can give more insight on the question. That would be great. Feel free to email questions to the link below. I know it's misspelled on purpose. Please, please check out podcasts which are conveniently located on YouTube also. And feel free to visit my website, which the link is listed below also. So, do you have a question? Because Ask D, he is on the air. Thanks, everyone, and have a great rest of the evening. Bye-bye.